Hello everyone, Switch Star Player. I have recently been found some information about the Dex Generation 5 on my opponent. For what I understand, it's going to be a new, entirely new cast. Which means the main six of the Mother Pony G4 will no longer be part of G5. I mean, from all I can understand it from months ago, they have been leaked information and even some early concept drawings about the main six as they are in the new G G5. I was like, what? This cannot be right. I mean, I was like, first time we saw the G5 of the main six new designs, like Twilight is an Earth Pony, uh, Fluttershy is a Unicorn, and Pinky adds a Pegasi. I was like, this is something new. But recently, at least from what I understand from Dr. Wolf's video, when, when I found this information, that it won't be as much of the main six in the next generation. I was like, are you kidding me? Well, to consider though that that in the previous G3 and G2 and so on, the main six wasn't even part of that. Only Twilight Burn was mentioned by name perhaps, but but it wasn't that there weren't any of those in the other previous iterations, except for E4. So why would they decided to make this a new entirely new generation? I think that the the Hasbro had decided to focus on entirely new fan cast, uh, at least cast of characters and even brand new world perhaps. And for what I, I strongly believe, though, that G5 is unlikely going to be take place in Equestria. It might be in an entirely new, entirely new Cave Different Kingdom. It which makes sense. I mean, from G1 to G2, there were different kingdoms. There were not much as Equestria. There were some, just some land, pony land or something like that. But even if there's going to be an entirely new kingdom in G5, I'm very much curious. What will they have in G5? Would it be like, will it be a new tiny kingdom with new Queens or princesses like Luna and Celestia. Even personally, I prefer that we keep the G4 characters in G5. I mean, what if we could still keep the G4 characters in G5, but they would be focused on the next generation of characters, like maybe a focus on Bluster Dawn and her friends as the new main six and and that, and that Twilight and her friends only appears as, maybe as a guest characters in the show from time to time to give either Last of Dawn and her friends some, some advice how to do be protecting everything. But that is at least, at least my opinion and, and hope that it could have been something like that. But it may be what the not won't be anything like that at first. But G5, I am very much curious how this thing is going to end up with. There is a lot of things about G5 we haven't been considered that can happen. I mean, for example, for which characters will we happen? Who will be the next G in the next main six? Will it be the same adventures as the G4? And what type of enemies will they part in the G5? Will it be some of the previous villains 
where bad guys went back to Z1 and Z2 couldn't appear in G5. Some of the previous bad guys from, from perhaps G3 appeared in G5, but they end up to be almost a little bit different. For example, the Smooch, he was a bad guy in G3, but he was not as much as a bad guy in G4. So I am curious, what type of bad guys will be part of the, this, this new cast of G5? As we, at least we know now for sure that the main six won't be part of the next generation of my opponent. But there were some even some discussions, discussions, some talks about to bring this gap between G4 and G5 that in the movie was going to be out sometimes in 2021, which is which is a bit surprised that they are putting still keeping the schedule of the movie despite how uh, this corona crisis going on, which is really impressive. I mean, I read mean that. But it, it's a lot of things that we are still haven't been figured out what's going to happen in next generation. I'm just really curious. What kind of characters will be replacing the main six from the G5? Will it be a new tire main six of past opponents like in G4? I mean... I'm willing to give G5 a big chance proving that they can also be a great show or it can be a, a two or to be a big failure. But only time can tell. I know that many fans of my all of other four bronies with the fandom perhaps would have preferred the G4. But if we should at least give G5 a chance. At least to see if G5 can expect us to to at least expect in the same adventures, the same comedy, drama as in back in G4, and then now it's going to be in G5. There's a lot of things of the G5 that we haven't even been revealed to, like who is going to be the main, the new main cast. And what other characters will be part of G5, and what's going to happen, or what, what type of bad guys. But the new, the, all the news about that there's going to be a new cast of characters has been confirmed. I was really puzzled. Because when I first heard it was going to be a G5. And my mind was going like in high spin of 100%, like. Up and down, up and down, whoa, what's gonna happen? But now this, I was like, when I first, first, first saw the new designs of the main six of E5, I was like, this might be a little bit different. Especially Flutterjai as a unicorn and Pinky as a Pegasi. If it's going to be the same characters in the next generation of E5, I thought, would they be have the same personality, despite they will have a little bit different types? Like, Twilight's going to be an Earth Pony. Will she, will she still be the very sound, the same personality? Like, she was like reading books, and is it possible that she could have been, been a princess once over again? Perhaps. But this is very much, much details we haven't been given to it. There's still very much just debating how much more things are going to happen. And now, especially now we have this information of new cast going to be appear in the CG5. It might still be very much discussions about with the Brownie fandom. Who will be the next main cast? Who's going to be part of this? And why did they bring up why did they bring up G4? Going to be in G5, and now suddenly they decided to change that to do an entirely new fan cast or the main cast. Who knows? But I am still going to give G5 a chance to see if it's going to be to be living up as after my expectations for or live up the same spirit as the G4.
Sure, G4 may have some bad, some worst episodes. Some some episodes that didn't make sense. Others was quite happy and found hilarious. But though, there's a lot of things in those shows that might have the same thing. But I do hope G5 will live up to the memory as G4 did. Same type of adventures. Said same type of comedy. And if G5 won't live up the same spirit as G4, well, I will be disappointed. I really grew up to seeing G4, and even I was when I was just a kid, I even watched some of the G3 episodes. Even some people don't even like the G3 generation of Pony Pony. My, from my understanding, I respect that. But from my view, they were decent, okay. But to be honest, though, I was really disapp disappointed that they want to be replacing the main six with the new Tyler cast. But at the same time, I'm very curious. I'm very, very curious how these characters gonna be replacing the main six. Will it be new six characters, or will it be five characters, or will it be seven characters? We don't know. Much details had even been revealed yet. But there is a lot of things about the G5 of the new cast we haven't seen much about. But I do expect that we probably will have more information about G5. Sorry. I expect it. Uh, oh, sorry. Mm. There's still very much details about G5 we haven't been told about. But I do wonder about G5. Will it be living up to the same spirit as G4? Though there is a lot of things about G4 we have missed over time. For example, Many fans have would have expecting to find out if Spike and Rarity were dating in G4. Like, at the, as from the beginning of season 1, Spike had a crush on Rarity. And I thought, I was hoping maybe at season 8 or season 9, he had been told Rarity by now. Or at least maybe he had been dating Rarity at the end of the episode. But it turned out not to be that. I was like heartbroken. But there's very much deep things about G5 and G4 we had her hopes for. I have some strong hopes for G5 to be a good show. And still my opinions about the G5's new cast is a bit mixed feelings, but I'm very much still, like I said, mixed feelings. But at the same time, I'm just very curious how G5's new cast going to be built. What, like, for which characters will they going to be the next main main characters or the main cast? Will it be six ponies like in G4? Who knows? But if we will see that soon, because within the under some time next year, in 2021, we will have G5 the movie. And I do hope, rather than some, perhaps at the end of this year and early next year, we will have some information about the next generation, and especially the movie. Because when the G Force movie came out a few years ago, I was very, very eager to know more. We saw more characters: Capper, the Pirates, even Tempest. I hope we can have something similar in G Five, some very strong adventures, perhaps even. Characters like bad guys like T-Rex when he had first appeared. 
and perhaps maybe something like Discord. I do hope that they could have at least bring perhaps bring back Discord in G5. I mean, Discord is one of the most famous, one of the most perhaps famous, and also one of the most amazing characters. A serious a show, a generation without Discord is not the same. After all, Discord is a great character. Anyways, this is all I want to say for now, though. And if you have your opinions, your thoughts, or perhaps even expectations some hopes for G5, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, leave a comment, and as always, this is Switch Double.